Hey, it's Kim, and I'm back for another video. We are going to be setting up for the month of April. So, I actually did a little bit of pre-work before um, sitting down to record, which I know is not usual, not typical for me. So I did set up my swatches for April. As you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and pull out all of those markers because I feel like I put them back. <laughs> so let me dig all of those out of my drawer. All right. So those are all of the markers that I decided to use for this month to coordinate with the Sterling Ink sticker kit, which I also need to pull out. Let me grab that. and all of the washi tapes that I also decided to use for this month. So, all right, I got everything together. And as you can see, this is my little swatch page. I'll show you the um, stickers in a moment. But before that, I decided to go with a black ink for this month. Black ink is my favorite. So, I just want to stick with what I love. <laughs> so I'm going to stick with my black ink. My favorite black ink is Diatrementis Document Ink. And the pen I'm going to use is my favorite fountain pen. That is my Pilot Vanishing Point and a fine nib. So that's what I'll be using for the month. And I have this here because I thought that I might use this ink as the... So I thought I might use this ink as the accent ink for the month because I really do like the purples in the set. So it is the Wearing All Jane Eyre ink. And I was going to use it in this pen. And I say was, am, maybe, we'll see. I have some time <laughs> before April gets here, but that is the plan. This currently has a different purple in it. And it's actually like almost empty. So. That may be the plan that this might be <laughs> the accent ink, because like I said, I do like all of the uh, purples that are in the kit. And speaking of, let's get a look at what's going on. All right, starting with the vellums. These are such beautiful patterns. And this is the other one that's in the kit. So it has the one um, without those like tickets and then the one with the tickets along with butterflies and crystals, really pretty. And then here is the monthly calendar for April. I will likely trim off this side to cut it down to standard traveler's notebook with. Yep, I'll likely trim that part off. I haven't done that yet. And then these stickers that came in this month's kit. You have your typical uh, numbers and date stickers that come in the kit. Also the tabs. And these are let me see if I can do it yeah. on a white background. So those are the stamps. These are the strips. And I had the idea because this is really such a beautiful pattern to try to use this <laughs> as a whole sticker. I don't know if I can do that. So for instance, um, let's say I just wanted to cut out like an edge or something and maybe like cut along this side so that I can use this whole portion as a sticker. I don't know if it'll work. Maybe I'll experiment and see. We'll see. But these are the strip stickers. So once you peel the backing or lift up the strips, it doesn't stay in one consistent image. And then here are the torn paper stickers. And the frames and then these are the washi strips and other decorative elements there are two of those and then these are some floral deco deco stickers and then like a large scene sticker here 
some smaller deco stickers, and then some other scene stickers. These are really pretty. Along with some edges and corner stickers. More of those like icons. More scene stickers. And then the April month header in script and then the April month header in block print. And then that's the large vinyl sticker. This is usually the one that seals the um, tissue paper. Oh wait, what am I doing? This is usually the one that seals the tissue paper, but she gave it to us as a sticker by itself, which is really cool. I will definitely use that someplace. And then here is the vinyl sticker and the kit it goes that way. And then this was the smaller freebie. Obviously I used one of those and then the business card and the small month sticker that will go into the front of my planner when April gets here. So those are all of the stickers in the kit. Very beautiful kit for this month. And like I said, these are all of the markers and washi tapes that I just pulled out to coordinate along with that kit. So starting off for the monthly spread, I'm going to put my dates or reminders over to the side and get started building the monthly layout. So since the 30th ends here of April, I do have all of this extra space over on the bottom right. So I can use a larger scene sticker there as well as some washi along the bottom border. So I think I'm gonna go with this scene sticker since it is horizontal. It's in more of a horizontal layout, so it'll be easier to fit it there. And then, which washi tapes might I want to use for that? I am liking this green floral one because it does incorporate some of the purples and it goes nicely with the kit. So I think I wanna do that. And I do usually do a grid washi as well. Well, sometimes. Um, so I could very well do this purple grid. I feel like I've done this before, I'm sure. Some type of combination in the past, but it doesn't get old for me. Um, and then I will usually use one of those edge stickers up at the top along with the script header for April. But because this has a lot going on in the background, I don't need to use one of these edge stickers. I will likely just use a piece of washi. So now that I'm looking at this, this is more of that blue color, which I do have a grid washi in that blue color. Should I go with that instead of the purple? I also do have this floral washi in blue. That's actually a sterling ink washi tape. Let's see. So these are the blue washies. So as you can see, there's a blue grid um, as well as a blue floral, both of which go nicely. I would not do them together Together. So my combo options could be these two, which I think is really nice. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Even though I'm really liking the purple for this month. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna pair these two together down at the bottom. And will I put a washi up at the top? I almost feel like it doesn't need it because it's so intricate on its own, the um, header sticker for April. Also, if you'll notice, the first is a Monday, so I will have to put the sticker over the first and it's gonna cross over into the second. Um, as you may or may not know, I don't care. I don't care about covering up those days or those boxes. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick this down here not add any washi underneath because it doesn't need it. It already has a lot going on, a lot of detail, a lot of color, which is cool. 
and I'll just stick that right there. So I do still have a little bit of space on the first in case I need it. And then at the bottom, I'll go in with the grid and the floral, just trying to think about which direction I want them to go in. I think I want the grid on the bottom and then the floral on top, just above it. Hopefully that's generally straight. And then we'll go in with the blue grid right underneath that. Only overlapping slightly. And then the scene sticker is gonna go right there and it will cover up a little bit of these bottom boxes there, but that's okay. So that is beautiful. And now I'm gonna go and mark the appointments and just dates that I know are going to stand out for me. I'm wondering, trying to think if I have any dot stickers that work for this month. So I'll use these. So these are fog and the color fog from cloth and paper. It's like a bluish purplish color. I don't know how I feel about it, <laughs> but uh, we'll see. And most importantly, the ninth is my 20th wedding anniversary. Can you imagine? And yes, I was a child bride. I kind of wanted this um, butterfly to go there, but it's redundant right underneath that butterfly. <laughs> this butterfly could go. That might be cute. Let's put that there. Mm. Up top, I like it at the bottom. Even though I feel like it's gonna infringe on other stuff I have at the bottom. That's okay. So that's that. I need to remind myself of something else. So... I feel like I don't want to use any of these colors because I don't know if it'll stand out enough. So let's see. I'll use more of a purple color. Will that really matter? I don't know. But I have to renew passports this month. So that is important. So something that's not a specific day but just has to get done this month and I can move that around to a week or wherever I might need it. So I picked the markers or the Tombos for the month and I thought that I was going to use that mild liner, the blue mild liner mostly, but like I said, I'm really liking the purple. However, on this monthly layout, the purple does not go at all. And then I feel like the blue doesn't go at all either. So maybe I should just go with 228, which is a gray green Tombow. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So this Monday through Friday is spring break. And then I'll fill that in. I don't usually put or mark in paychecks or pay dates with stickers. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't while I decide. Those are the dates and the important reminders. I should also put on here, I think I will. So on the 10th is the pre-order <laughs> for the new Traveler's Company, um, Traveler's Company cover. So the, is it Tokyo? Yeah like the Tokyo edition, and I think it's really cute. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but um, I'm gonna mark it. And really, I mean, marking it probably means that I'm gonna get it, but we'll see. So that's spring break, which reminds me there's no school. Oh yeah, I wrote it. Okay. No school the Friday before that. Something else is probably happening this week, but I won't write that down just yet. I will 
right? This one. Okay, so I think that is pretty much my monthly layout. Those are all the important dates and important reminders that I need for the month. Are there any of these other flags that I can move over? Not just yet. Do I have any looming flags from a previous date? Nope. Okay, so that is all the stuff that I've got going on for the monthly layout. Now we'll go in and set up the tracker. So I guess because I'm using that green 228 Tombow on the calendar, I'll also use it on the tracker. And I'm gonna go in with the same formula that I usually will do. Um, but first I need to write my line, which I didn't. So I'm gonna use one of those half like washi strips down here to go across the bottom of the page. So that's where I'll put the title tracker and then pulling out one of those. That's not it. Pages. This is like one of these half washi strips are usually the ones I'll use down here at the bottom. Um, I like this one with the pink, even though that one works maybe better. I think I'll use this one with the pink. And let me move this before I forget. I'll put the sticker over it. So I like this one with the pink and then I might like to add another little floral element right next to it, which I did here. So I used that half washi strip here and then added that flower sticker just to make sure it covers the entire border of the page. Again, I'm leaning towards using a butterfly, but there's already a butterfly there. So I will lay off the butterflies. Um, I could put this large flower there. And look like it's there on purpose. So this might be the best option. And then I'll use the script header for the month right up at the top. So I'll move this back down. A little bit crooked, but still cute. So that's a tracker all set up. That was easy peasy. Next is my dashboard for the month. So the dashboard is starting here on page 101, if you are interested. And I did have page or spread 102 to 103 marked off for when April would start. So I'm a little bit ahead of schedule <laughs> or ahead of pacing for the pages. Um, so what I'm going to do first is cut down this vellum calendar so I can get that part out of the way. And like I said, I'm going to take off the majority of the right side of this. Maybe some on the left. And then... Make sure it goes to about 4.25 or thereabouts and trim down that side. So that should fit into here more or less, not too bad. So that's gonna go on the right side of my dashboard after I get all of the other pieces in position. So what I've been doing is using one of the larger washi strips from the kit on this bottom section of the spread and then the script month header up at the top, putting the dashboard here and then the one line a day goes here underneath the vellum calendar. Gonna stick to the same flow and the same format. Uh, this is gonna go here. I do like to see how the vellum calendar kind of overlaps on top of, you know, that washi and it looks fine. But my question is, let me see. So I want this washi strip to go all the way to the right. This is gonna go here. Then there's gonna be a little bit of space there. What would I like to put there? Oh, maybe a scene sticker, duh. All right, this one's way too big. Uh, 
This one is the same from the calendar. Let's do something different. This one's beautiful. I feel like this one works the best along with what else is going on in this washi strip. So that's gonna be that one. Now, do I want washi tape on this spread? So I think I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna kind of work backwards, work up the page. So I'll start by putting down that washi tape, the purple washi tape. This one goes here and now I feel like it maybe does it look a little disjointed because maybe the washi tape should have come over a bit more I don't know I have an idea let's move it like there and then I'm going to put one of these in the middle to sort of fill that space in just kind of fill that in there all right I'm really liking how that's looking and I will put the month header right about the top. It does not need any extra, I don't think. Do I wanna put like um, the purple washi up there? Just to bring in some more purple on the spread. Do we need to? Not really. But I'm gonna do it. Just a guesstimate. That's fine. And then All right, beautiful. And I'm going to go back to my boxes for the categories of like reading, watching, listening to that I have over on this side because I didn't love the way I did it last month for March. So I have the section, I'll have the section for my focus and then the section for the reading, watching. And then I did have those, those, those uh, important dates section, but I don't, I don't think I need that. I haven't yet come up with anything else that I wanted to include on these spreads, the dashboard spreads. So I'll leave it at the focus. I don't know what this is gonna look like. So don't, <laughs> so don't ask me. Um, how many boxes? All right. So then I'll just go ahead and put my headers. All right, so next, as we finish up here, I will round the corner of the vellum calendar, grab those vertical stickers, as well as my transparent tape, so I can tip that in, and start from the bottom. Now I'm kind of trying to center it along with what's going on on the right, I mean on the left. So we'll put it just about there, which should leave enough space to put a header on this page, which it does. And I'll draw this dividing line here. I don't need it, I just feel like it adds a bit to the page. Right there. So, all right, so we will tip in the calendar and then add in the tab shoot. Shifted that a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't get too screwed up. <laughs> it's a little shifty at the bottom sticks out a bit but I'm gonna leave it at that so then I'm gonna add the tab for April just 
score it just a bit, line it up with the other tabs. And that looks good enough. A little bit crooked, <laughs> but good enough. And that's my dashboard. This might be my most favorite one to date. I don't know. I do really like the purple, the addition of the purple. Now, do I feel like I should have put purple on the monthly? Eh, maybe, but I still like it with the blue. All right, so I'm not gonna do any weeklies. Um, I will give you a little bit of a peek that I have been using that Nolte weekly layout, as I call it, for the month of March. I don't know if I'm gonna switch to something else for April. That's why I'm not gonna set up any weeklies just yet, but you will see it in my final flip, of course. But for the time being, I'm calling this April setup done. So I've got my monthly layout and everything is marked in and filled in, things where I need to be places, so that's cool. Very simple and I am liking how the blues and the greens coordinate with one another. And then the next thing we did was set up the tracker for April. Um, even though I always say I may change the things that I'm tracking and then I never really do change them, I'm still gonna wait <laughs> and see if I decide to change them before the month of April starts. So when April starts, that's when I'll go in and add all the items that I am going to track. But for the most part, this is set up and ready for me to just jump right in and get started. And then flipping right to the dashboard for April, which I really, really, really love, especially with the purples and the blues and the little bit of green. So I'm gonna use the section over on the side to write in anything I want to focus on for the month. And I do find that very helpful, even though I don't necessarily like come and turn to this specific page every single day. Um, setting those intentions and the focus before the month starts is very helpful and just making sure I am on task and just sticking to what I said it is that I want to do. So that's um, what I'm going to define up at the top before the month starts. And then I will write down any books that I'm reading for the month here, any shows or movies that I am watching, um, well, shows that I am watching, movies that I want to make sure to watch, I'll put that there. Anything that I'm learning, so any courses, I do take online courses from time to time, or I'll read like nonfiction books about different topics. Uh, I want to put there and any projects that I'm working on. This section I want to devote to home projects. So I wanted to find that here. Katasha gave me that idea and it was genius. And then over on the right hand side, I'm gonna do my one line a day. So while I do visit this page just about every day, this one I don't necessarily look at every day, but still they're together. But I'm gonna write down um, anything that's memorable from that day, good, bad or indifferent, I'll have that there. And then April 1st is going to start right here. So I'm all set and ready. And something else I just remembered for April is that the Sephora sale <laughs> is happening and it's going from, I think it starts like this Friday all the way to here. How does one mark that? I don't know. Maybe I'll just do like a little, flower there because you know I don't know if you're into products purchasing products um the Sephora sale is pretty important I'll put this little crystal there so I have been like filling my cart with things just to make sure I can get you know those items at a discounted price so that is worthy of being marked on my calendar so that is there and I'll fill that in. We've got the passport renewal and I think everything else is filled in for the most part right now. And of course, as time goes along and additional appointments and all that will get filled in as well. So that is my setup for April. Thank you so much for following along on today's video. Of anything I linked down in the description box below, 
um, especially things from my Amazon store. If you're interested in any of the supplies and tools that I use for my planning, I'll have that linked down below. And if you don't see something, definitely just shoot me a comment or message me and I'll get right back to you on that. Again, thank you so much for following along on today's video and I'll see you in the next one.